blockchain technology is one way to keep online information secure while saving money for both shoppers and store owners. Tyne Phillips reports on how this emerging technology is also protecting and managing food security. Disease outbreaks like Ebola and E. coli have been more prominent lately in fresh produce. Unable to track exactly which shipment of food is tainted, store owners are forced to throw away almost all the goods that could be infected. Now, researchers have found a way to prevent widespread produce waste through blockchain. Blockchain has been the new buzz for industry leaders, business owners, and soon consumers. It's a way for data to be stored in a trustworthy fashion by having multiple copies of the same growing list of records stored in different places. So if there's one tainted batch of produce from one specific farm, blockchain allows them to figure out which farm it came from instead of throwing all the produce away. All of these food ecosystem problems can be solved by the various participants in the food supply chain, farmer, supplier, packing company, transportation company, retailer, all the way to the con end consumer sharing information. So let's say you are a small business, you would like to be part of a larger supply chain, that it would help you to be part of that supply chain, to be able to share information in specific ways, even though you don't know who actually is a recipient of that information. There are two types of blockchain, public and private. Public means anyone is allowed to contribute or read it. And private is where the owner of the blockchain has to give other people permission to access it. Although there are many benefits that come with blockchain, like food security, some experts have concerns about the fraud and privacy issues. In a permission blockchain, who is giving permission? Uh, how open does it have to be? However, researchers believe blockchain is ready to be used on a larger scale, despite the concept being relatively new. I think today we are at a point where it's ready for prime time. There is enough technology available for us to build real production scale solutions. Tyne Phillips reporting for UHM-TV. Thanks, Tyne.